petrified to be in this house alone. What have I done wrong to have a demon come to me? We're scared. We can't fight it. You guys was the only guys I knew that could possibly help us. I've just got to have something done. You know who we are. You know what we do. If you're going to put up a fight right now, it's the time to do it. It all ends tonight. I woke up one night to my head born shaking. I feel like it knows that it's something's going to happen. Something big's going to happen and it's got to go and it doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to let go of me. Manifest yourself so we can see you. If it can do that, what else can it do? My name is Josh Foreman, and these are my brothers, Rocky and Sean. As children, the three of us experienced a very dark and evil haunting. We have now set off on a journey across the country, helping families trapped in their own nightmare, filming and documenting some of the most shocking paranormal footage. Do it again for us right now. Whoa. Go, go, go. It's right there. That door slammed wide open. You know who we are. You know what we do. It all ends tonight. Manifest yourself so we can see you. This is Paranormal Nightmare. My brothers and I were contacted by a family in Southern Kentucky claiming to be under attack by a demonic presence. Given the severity of the activity taking place inside their home, my brothers and I have decided to travel down to Kentucky and see if we can help Connie and her family put an end to their nightmare. Connie? Yes. Josh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Hi. you. Jackie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Because I'm begging the Lord to take whatever it is off of me. I've got another voice coming out of me growling and I'm purging and I'm spitting and I'm screaming and crying and then all of a sudden it just stopped and I felt better but I still felt like there was like a cloud over me. So I've been, I've been through a lot. I know there's something on me. I just, I'm ready to get rid of it. A large dark shadow and I've seen things that no living person should see but it made me see it and it was a demon you would hear somebody knocking and you go to the door nobody there but then you would hear it throughout the house or we hear our names and nobody's around when my dad passed away I brought his old family's oval bubble glass pictures home with me of his family and I was cleaning the living room one day, and a dog I used to have, he went up and was trying to smash the glass in one of them. The man in that picture, I've seen him in the back room, I've seen him in the living room, and I've seen him in the hallway. And he just stands with his hands in his pockets. It really startled me and scared me, and I thought, what in the world did I do bringing these back? This is where a lot of stuff happens. To Jackie and the man that I have seen in the house before has been that man right there in that picture now you hear whispers you hear knocks you hear all kinds of things going on in this room there's just so many things that happens the knock and the voices and her getting scratched in here all the time she's terrified in here she will not sleep without a light on so I don't know if it's because I have all these old things in the house or what. Something's got to give because I don't like seeing my family scared. He was wiping the glass off and all you seen in that picture was all the people that's at the cabin. The man over on the far side is the one that started bleeding through and she started yelling for my dad and he seen it coming through. The more she wiped the glass, the more he kept coming through and he wanted the picture out of the house. And they all said that that man right there was a witch. The tall figure that stays in the bedroom, he never goes nowhere but the bedroom. There's like a little child that will run right directly in front of you, just dart. There's no features, there's nothing, just a small, dark figure. Then I seen the figure just rise from the foot of the bed and I seen what it was, and it scared the daylights out of me. Here I was, scared to death, and I couldn't move. I just laid there, and I closed my eyes, and my dogs began 
growling. It was the biggest, the ugliest demon. This was just horrible. Only thing I could think to do was start praying. And once I started praying, it just completely vanished. For the rest of the night, I could not sleep. And from then on, I had to sleep with the light on because I was afraid it was going to come back. And I'm thinking, what have I done wrong to have a demon come to me? But right here in this corner, you can see, you can see this man standing. And he stands up about this tall. It's a really tall man. And if you're looking like in this direction, but not looking there, you could see him and you could see it shift from time to time. But if you look directly at him, it's like he just bleeds away. I got bit and it was right here above my tattoo. I didn't even know I got bit until the next morning, but it was like a little kid's mouth and it had a gap between the front teeth. What in the world have I done to make something this aggressive? If it can do that, what else can it do? You always hear things throughout the room. I'm terrified and I'm getting mad. It's just like it's waiting to prey on you. Jackie became homeless while she was pregnant. So I told her to get a bus ticket, come live with me and she's seeing more things. She's getting scratched. And while she was pregnant, she got the biggest scratch on her belly and that really scared me. You are always on edge. You're always tensed up. You hear things, you see them. It's just getting worse and worse with the scratching, the biting. Just the other night, I got up and Jackie said, what happened to your leg? And I looked down, three scratches right down my thigh. I don't know if it's after me, after her, or after both of us. These things are happening to us. We're scared. We can't fight it. It worries me to death. Yours has progressed into scratches, you know, people being bit. What do you think here? You know, I was hoping it would just be a friendly ghost. But after seeing the demon, I'm afraid it's worse because it's getting more aggressive, scratching, biting. Is there anything that you guys have done that you haven't shared with us that would have caused whatever's here to be more aggressive? Please don't taunt whatever's in here. You know, either you believe or you don't, but just keep your comments to yourself because it's getting worse. Through our research, we discovered Connie's recent visit to the Bell Witch Cave could be the catalyst to the activity the family has experienced inside their home. We did go to Bell Witch Cave. I got curious, so I brought, well, I had three rocks. But by the time we left there, one rock was gone. And I had them in my purse. And that third rock just mysteriously disappeared. I had trouble sleeping that night because seeing something like that, it really works on you. I have never in my life witnessed anything like that. And I don't know. I have no answers, and I'm hoping that's what you guys can do. You know, we want to come in and get your answers and help your family and make sure you guys are safe inside your house. You guys was the only guys I knew that could possibly help us. I've just got to have something done. It's getting pretty aggressive. Like, you're going to believe in me one way or another. It's just too much. And it's starting to work on my nerves. I can't sleep hardly anymore because I'm worried about something happening. You're always hearing something I would just love to be able to sleep all night long without any problems. I've overdosed four times. I know the first time I was out for two or three days. Whenever it happened, I just remember things going dark. Everything went black and I heard a whisper, daughter. And I woke up two days later in bed. I guess I just kind of wanted to die. I was just going through things and it was right before I found out I was pregnant, and that was kind of the kicker for me. That's when I got clean. I have night terrors, terribly to the point where I've got a Bible under my pillow right now. I would always feel something watching me. I still feel things watching me. I'm petrified of this house. I won't walk down the hallway by myself without turning on the light. 
the night before we went to Bible study, I had a dream. And in my dream, I was trying to run, but something was chasing me. I couldn't see it, but I could feel it. And I couldn't run fast enough, so I got on all fours and was still trying to run. And it started choking me. And it was just this big, dark, kind of like an angel with black wings. And he just grabbed me and said, I told you, God's not real. And then the next day I went to Bible study and I walked in the room and my heart rate picked up. I started shaking, I was begging the Lord to take whatever it was off of me and get it out of me. And as I'm screaming and crying, I've got this deep growl coming out of me. But I still felt like there was a dark cloud over me. I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. And I just got like really afraid, like something was watching me. And I pulled my blanket up over my head. And then I felt it again. I knew, I just knew something was there and I couldn't move, I couldn't, I couldn't talk and I'm trying to scream. And then finally I got out and it was like, Aunt Connie! And she come running and I started crying. I said, you gotta get me out of here. The second time this happened, I was in bed and I don't sleep with the light off. I'm, I'm too scared too. And I was sleeping and I couldn't move. I tried waking up, tried opening my eyes, I couldn't. So I just started praying in my, praying in my head, you know. And finally it let me go and I screamed my aunt's name again and she come running in. I woke up one night to my headboard shaking and something screeching in my face. I've been trying since I've been here to not be afraid of it. So I just pulled my blanket over my head and started praying again. But one time I was praying and it just, I couldn't pray. I couldn't talk, I couldn't think, nothing. It was just like a black cloud was just right there in my face. And I looked out the doorway and there was a shadow figure standing there. It was just like a figure, almost like a body figure, but the top was pointed like this and it came out. And I just had an overwhelming fear just settle on me and I started crying and I had goosebumps move up my arms and I get affected. It makes me, I get angry for no reason. And I'm not an angry person. I get scared. I am petrified to be in this house alone. I just, I don't know if it's something I've done and brought it with me. I don't know if it's somewhere I've been. I just, whatever it is, I hope you guys can help us figure this out. Because I know it's not a friendly ghost. Because not a, a ghost isn't going to scare me the way this thing does. And now I'm scared for the baby too. Because I had scratch marks. I looked down and I had scratch marks deep across the top of my stomach and it scarred me. And one night before I had him, I was feeling sick, so I went to take a bath, and my chest started burning. And I looked down, and it was the same kind of child bite mark that my aunt had. It had a gap in it and everything. I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I was seeing my face distort, like possession-wise. And just last Sunday, I had a dream about you guys coming here, and I could feel my face moving, and something threw me against the wall, and I woke up. I couldn't go back to sleep that night. I'm afraid that oppression, possession, something, something's got its grips on me and it's affecting me in ways that I never knew it could. I feel like it knows that it's, something's gonna happen, something big's gonna happen and it's gotta go and it doesn't wanna go, it doesn't wanna let go of me. I'm afraid it's been attached to me for a long time. And every time I've tried to get rid of it, it's like it just released a little bit. And what happens when you try fighting against it? I can't, I get choked and I get held down, and I'm just, I always feel something watching me. Because in the dark, I'm afraid that it's there, and I'm afraid to see it. I want closure. If it is something dark, I just, I want it gone. I don't care what it is. I can't take being in constant fear. I get scared. I fear that it's getting control of me. It's, I don't know, it's just out of hand. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's, it's dark and it's scary. You think it knows that it's time's about up here? I, that's how I feel, yeah. And it's trying to get a good grip. And I don't want to be weak in what it gets me. The three of us, we grew up in a haunted house and dealt with some pretty bad Several years ago, my brothers and I experienced a very dark and evil haunting which changed our lives forever. Since then, the three of us have been traveling the country helping families. With each investigation, my brothers and I feel we move one step closer to finding the answers to why our family came under attack. For the past 15 years, we've dedicated our lives to traveling the country and helping other families mm -hmm. dealing with what we dealt with as children. So we know what you're going through and 
you know, we know what it feels like to be alone. And I remember as a kid, you know, hiding under the blankets, praying like crazy and just hoping it would go away. So we get that. We've been able to successfully help a lot of families. A lot of it has to do with, you know, taking back your life and, you know, you've done the biggest step, getting clean. Mm -hmm. You've got the power. You've overcome so much in your life. Once we do our thing, it's up to you guys because your fear is what helps feed it. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm in a good place now where I'm not going to go back to drugs, so I'm not going to open that door. I'm, you know, I live with a good family. I'm not in a dark home. I'm not in an abusive home or abusive relationship, so those doors aren't going to be open to it. I've just got to keep myself um, built up, I reckon. You know, look at this as a new start. And I keep it right here next to Jesus Christ, hoping it would help. I was wondering. I was curious, but I guess curiosity got the better of me. But the third rock I had disappeared. No idea where it went. It's done nothing but bring trouble. All the evil it's brought me, I'm, I don't want to say terrified, but I am. I mean, I just don't want to give something extra power. I really don't. I don't, I don't want it because the big shadow I see, I don't like. It was just so fast and it shot through the kitchen and went straight out that way. We was digging right through here and you could find some bones. During construction of their home in the 1980s, the family discovered human bones and Native American artifacts buried in the dirt in the basement. The further back we got, then we started, you know, getting really deep. And that's when we started finding like bigger bones. I just didn't, I didn't want to mess with it no more. I just wanted to cover them back up and leave them alone. So you just buried them back? Yeah. Where you found them? And... Yeah. Okay, you see this pile of dirt right here? Yeah. We started digging in there okay. and it was out this far. You know, we started digging and then we come to it and I told him just throw the dirt back in there. So the bones are just about a foot out from that wall right here. Yeah. Well, we're going to start here in the living room. We've got alarms in both the bedrooms where they see dark shadows. For the safety of the family, we asked both Connie and Jackie to leave the home during our investigation. If there's anybody inside this house, we don't know who you are or what you are. We're just here to communicate with you and find out what you want and why you're here. If you knock back in the bedrooms, we want you to try to communicate with us. Can you knock again? What the hell is that? Here yeah, this is, they've seen dark shadows in this hallway. Are you in one of the bedrooms? Who's back there? He's got something. I just heard a voice right behind me. I swear I keep hearing like a little kid giggling. Is there a child in here? Is there a child in here? That scared me. Who is the man that we keep hearing? She said that you've scratched her and bit her and held her down in bed. Are you attacking Jackie? You've got three men in here now. If you want to attack somebody, attack one of us. There's you, a woman. It's out there with you, Sean. Sean, let me see that camera, because whatever it is, it keeps happening right next to you. 
Is there somebody watching us right now? Oh, whoa, whoa. What was it? Something grabbed the back of this right here. I swear to God, tapped on it like that real hard right here. Get over here to this corner. Okay. The back of that just something like literally three taps on right on the back of that. Holy shit, that was hard. Are you attached to the rock? Did you hear it? It's not like a kid or something. I had goosebumps going from I'm serious bottom of my feet all the way to the top of my head down my arms right now. It's colder in here, ain't it? Do you have something to do with the bones that's down in the basement? What the hell was that? That was weird. It felt like just, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a little cold spot. But it was like, a, you remember having people poke you like with a pencil? That's what it felt like, just like that. But it was like a cold, little cold spot. Chill right there. My new beer and a pencil lead. Can you tell me your name? Walking. Out here. Here? Mm hmm. Yeah. Are you attached to one of these pictures? You smell that? It smell like a, like an old musty smell or something like that. And we first walked in that room, it smelled good, like somebody burnt candles or something. Can you bite one of us? What the hell was that? You hear it? If there's anybody in this house that can attack a woman. We know you attacked one man. Can you come in here and do something to us right now? It's like a mist. Right there where your hand is. Whoa. There is a cold spot. Seriously. Like, holy I'll have holy to go back and look at the camera, but it looked like a mist. It was like real faint, too. Manifest yourself so we can see you or you can do something to us. You want me to take the rock from this house? Whoa. I just got a whiff of something right there. That's why I said that musty smell. Walk right through there. I'm very sneeze. Josh, come here. Do you smell that musty smell? Mm -hmm. A little bit more now. All right, we're in the room where the rock is. Is there a man in here with us? You hear like a kid crying? I just heard footsteps in right after that. Hear it? Mm-hmm. Oh, like someone's tickling my neck. Are you playing games with us right now? Was you here before this house was even here? Dude, there's something down that freaking basement. Yeah, I just heard it. It's right back there with Josh. Take a walkie talkie to camera and go down there. Whatever we're hearing, like Rocky said, it sounds like it's coming from the basement, like hitting on the floor. I don't know which one I'm more scared of, this <laughs> ghost or the snakes. Just yell if you get bit by a snake. Well, I think I'm going to scream. I mean, that's freaking definitely going to freaking happen. Now, I think what you need to do is, even if you just close the door so you're in darkness, and stay right there by the door in that open area. 
While Sean heads to the basement, Rocky and myself will continue to investigate the house. So right now, Josh is wanting me to go in this basement. It's not that bad to go down here, but being in Kentucky and the homeowner sitting here talking about, you know, having babies, you know, snakes coming out or full grown freaking snakes coming out, which are all freaking poisonous. Yeah, it does terrify you a little bit. So if I get bit by a freaking snake. All right, so I'm gonna turn the night vision back on. I got my radio on, so if I need to yell for Josh, please don't let there be any freaking snakes. Of course, Josh is gonna yell at me already because I haven't shut the freaking door, but gotta give me a minute. Because right back here is where they found the bones. The homeowners dug up some bones. Was it yours? The one person that is terrorizing this family. You gotta give me a sign, let me know if you're down here with me. Yeah, I'm not talking about sending out a dang snake or anything. And my heart's racing so bad right now. I'm positive if I'm holding this camera very still. There's a whole bunch of holes over there in the dirt. There's all over here that things could hide in. But one thing we gotta do is get answers for this family. This is the rock from the Bell Witch Cave that Connie brought home with her, which was probably a horrible, horrible idea. And this rock, if you can see, is giving off high EMF. If you're attached to this rock and came from Bell Witch Cave, do something right now and validate to us that you're inside this house. Tell me your name. Was you Native American? Was you Native American? Was you Native American? Over there. Oh my God. What the hell was that? Okay, you can, oh man, I got freaking cold chills so freaking bad right now. And right when I went to flip the camera around to show you the door, there was a freaking loud bang right over here where the bones was. I don't know how much longer I can stay down here. I can't do this no more. I gotta get the hell out of here. There's, there's ain't no way. Holy crap, my heart's racing so freaking bad right now. I'm, I guarantee I caught it. Everything going here just shows you, proves a point. It don't matter if you do it during the day. It don't matter if you do it during the night. If they wanna show themselves, they will. Because remember they said they took these pictures from an old yeah, these, a family. Yeah, old family pictures. And one of them had one of these pictures had blood. This 
room. EMF is off the charts. Yeah. You're in here getting colder, ain't it? Yeah. Do something right now. We know you're in here. We got alarms telling us that you're in here. The more ag angry I get, the more it goes up, doesn't it? Yeah. Do something. Prove to us that you're here. Why are you by this bed? Is it these pictures? Are you attached to these pictures? Is your spirit attached to one of these pictures? Yes or no? Knock something over right now. Every wall, that wall, those pictures, this wall, everything, no high EMF. The minute we hit these series of pictures right here, what are there, four or five pictures? Yeah. EMF is off the charts. And there's no explanation for it other than it's something sure. paranormal. That's just absolutely the highest EMF. That's the picture that was bleeding. I mean, it's no wonder she's sleeping in this bed, seeing and scared to death. Because the high EMF is right here at her bed. Because we've already proven that the normal picture, no EMF. The walls away from these pictures, no EMF. Which other family members wanted out of their house because of activity. Let's take one of the pictures out of that room to an area that we know doesn't have EMF. In order to make sure the high EMF is coming from the pictures and not the room, we have decided to remove the picture from the room and check the EMF reading in a controlled setting. I have no electronics on me whatsoever. None. You can clearly see this ball of energy exit the picture. Since we are filming in HD, we are able to rule out bugs or dust causing this anomaly. Go back to it. And there's nothing you can see. I mean, it's just an old ass picture. There's nothing electronic on it. We also decided to send Rocky to the basement to check for anything below the bedroom that may be causing the high EMF readings in Jackie's bedroom. The doorway is by where they found the bones. And then the bed is back here. There's really no wiring where you get like a lot of high EMF. Right above there, straight down from that, that's where the door was. And that would be the pile of dirt that they was digging in to get the bones. But back here, the wires are actually down here on these beams. Is there a freaking spider on me or something or what? Turn that light on over there by the door. What the hell? I should have a big tarantula or a big... I'm telling you, is there a freaking or what? There is. I mean, it's all right here. That time it was right here on my freaking neck. Oh. I don't see anything. I mean, it started here in the bedroom and then it kind of went like all here. And now it's I don't see anything. Have fun in the basement. Okay, this is getting annoying. I'm telling you. Who keeps touching Sean? Right now we're in Jackie's bedroom getting ready to run a spirit box session. This is the room that we've documented all kinds of crazy shit in. Who's leaving scratches on the family members? Can you tell me your name? Are you attached to one of the pictures on this wall? Yes or no? The person attached to these pictures, what is your name? Who are you? Are you a demon? Yes or no? Are you a demon, yes or no? What? There's something out here. Holy 
Dude, that was a freaking growl. Yeah, that's the area right there where Jackie heard. Remember she was walking down the hallway mm -hmm. and something screamed in her face? Right there where you were at where you heard that. Dude, I get cold chills so freaking bad right now. Who just growled? You know who we are. You know what we do. If you're going to put up a fight, right now is the time to do it. You've been scratching people. You've been biting people. Scaring the kids. It all ends tonight. Show yourself to us right now. Are you attached to this rock right here? Where did this rock right here come from? Are there any spirits attached to this rock? Yes or no? Are you related to the family? Are you attached to the pictures in the bedroom? This is where she sees the black shadow. Who's the black shadow in this room? Are you scratching Connie? Like something touched my lip. Right here. I mean, this room just has a completely different feel from the rest of the house. Are you related to these pictures in any way? Is there somebody down in the basement right now? Yeah. Yes. Rocky. <gasps> yes. The witch I'm talking to, what is your name? Why can't you do something? Whoa, did you see that? I thought I seen something. That's why I panned the camera over there. Whoa, did you see that? What was that? Growling sound? Shut that off for a second. To me, it sounded like a girl crying. You think if it is, it could be a witch, and it is that guy in that picture, that he's holding other spirits we have asked both connie and jackie to join us during this cleansing whether the spirits are attached to the house or a member of the family our hope is to banish all negative energy from this property and the blood of jesus christ we seal off this room no more spirits can enter through that doorway we seal off any doorways or portals with the sign of the cross and the blood of jesus christ all spirits must leave this room and never enter into it again. We bind you from ever entering into this room. We seal off the threshold, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Woo! Woo! Oh, God. You okay? The sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Woo! Woo! Oh, God. You okay? I felt like I got shoved. Oh, man. Here, hold this cross. This yeah. here neck. I believe this negative energy was either pushing Connie out of the way to leave the house, or that this could be a darker message, that this evil presence wasn't leaving without a fight. Any spirits <laughs> trying to affect them, <laughs> You must leave. <laughs> leave this family alone. <laughs> Here, give her the cross. Here, hold this. <laughs> Lord, we just ask that you bless her.
spirits. It is in Shinado Bus. In the Bus. In the Bus. Bring Jackie back to us. In the Bus. Oh God. In the Bus. In the Bus. Come back to us, Jackie. In the Bus. Jackie, can you hear us? Yes, yes! Angry! <laughs> Which is Jesus Christ is going to draw him out. You Leave Jackie alone now. We're driving you out of this house. Knowing that this spirit's main goal was to stop the blessing, we decided to move forward and continue with the cleansing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we bless this room. The blood of Jesus Christ. We seal off this room with the cross. No! No to the sea. We seal off this room. No! This no. threshold, you no longer enter into it. We seal off this hallway, the blood of Jesus Christ no. and the Son of God. <gasps> Let's just keep pushing it out. All spirits in this room, you must leave this house now. You're forever banished. We bind you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Any and all spirits, good and evil, you may no longer enter into this room. You're forever banished. Lord, we just ask that you please watch over Connie and Jackie and their family and just keep them safe from anything evil, any attachments. And she calls on you tonight to protect her and to guide her for the rest of her life. And all these things we just pray in your name. Amen. Amen. We command all spirits, good and evil, to leave this basement. Go on and be at peace, wherever that may be. Just not this house, not with this family. We seal off this basement with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any bones that were found in this basement or Native American artifacts, we apologize if anything was disturbed. Please forgive the family. We offer you this tobacco peace offering. After the cleansing, the family pictures and the rock from the Bell Witch Cave were all removed from the home. Our hope is that the family can finally live in peace and the spirits are now in a better place. Although this battle was won, we know there are many more to come. For now, we will continue to travel the country, helping as many families as we can. Hey guys, hey. Just wanted to video chat with you and let you know that everything's going great. We have been able to sleep all night, the baby sleeps all night, and we are still doing the cleansing as you directed us to. And we just want to thank you guys from the bottom of our heart. And I think Jackie wants to say something. Thank you guys. I can now sleep with my light shut off. And it's just, I feel so much better in here. So thank you guys for helping us in this terror reign that we were under. Thank you. God bless. Bye. Bye.